talking about test checking. Now, in a big organization, auditor may not go for checking of each and every transactions and may check a few transaction at random. This type of check uh, is called test check. In test checking, the auditor selects some of the transactions and checks them thoroughly. Now, when we come to understand this che test checking, in this test checking, uh, there the auditor checks some of the transaction taken taken as samples out of the whole transaction. He and he do not uh, checks each and every transaction of the organization. Now, when does this happen? In certain organization, uh, in big organization, whether there are huge number of transaction and it becomes impossible for the auditor to check each and every transaction. What he can do at that time, he can go for test checking where he will uh, choose some of the important transaction and do or check them thoroughly and give his opinion. This is the basic concept of test checking. Now, uh, the test or the, we can say the technique of test checking is applied by the auditor uh, by selecting the transaction on random basis. He does not follow any uh, specific or prescribed or standard method of selection. Uh, and this is always for, or we can say this process is always employed in case of big business houses or uh, manufacturing concern where the number of transaction is very huge. Now, if he does not find error in those selected transactions, then the auditor will assume that the remaining transaction, which uh, were out of selection and were not checked in test checking are also correct. Now, it must be kept in mind that the auditor will be held responsible for all those transactions which he has not checked. Of course, in this test checking, he will be checking only the few transactions which have been taken as sample. But on the other hand, it must be kept in mind that the auditor is held responsible for all those transactions which have been not taken as sample. Now coming to uh, some of the elements of test checking, there are three basic elements of test checking. First one is scope where uh, test checking decides the scope of audit work. Now, as in the situation of frauds and errors coming to light during test checking, the scope of checking may be widened and if needed, uh, be a comprehensive examination may also be undertaken. If the auditor finds a lot of frauds and errors uh, in the samples which he has collected, then what he will do, he will uh, widen his scope of test checking and we will include more of the transactions. So it is said that test checking will decide the scope of audit work. Next is sampling technique, which I've already said that test checking basically is based on the principle of random sampling. Uh, in this te technique, a few representative transactions are selected and are examined in details. Now, if during the examination, the selected transaction are found to be correct, then all the remaining transactions are also assumed to be correct. Next is uh, group representative. Now, the transactions selected uh, during test checking are representative uh, of all the transactions. Those transactions which will be selected as a sample, those transactions will represent the whole transaction. They should include transaction, uh, we, can, we always say the auditor should include transaction of all kinds and uh, relating to different employees, also year and transaction and also the important one. So it must be kept in mind that the transaction which are selected are representative of all the transaction. Now coming to advantages of test checking. First one is saving of time. Of course, in test checking, instead of checking each and every transaction, only a few representative transactions are examined and this will save a lot of time of the auditor. Second one is reliable results. Now transaction examined um, are representative transactions which represent the characteristics of the whole. Now, because of this, the result of test checking are quite reliable. Now, third one is audit of many institutions possible. Now, if the auditor examines each and every transaction comprehensively, it takes up a lot of his time and efforts. Hence, 
the time which is saved by the auditor by resorting uh, to test checking may be used by him for auditing many other organization and thus increases business fourth one is more emphasis on internal check now test checking is based on uh, internal check system since it can be resorted to only uh, in those organization where internal check system is satisfactory um, now what is this internal check system internal check system is a system in which uh, one the in which the work of one employee can be or uh, can be checked by the other employee the work of other employees will be checked by the third employee and the chain goes on so uh, it is said that in this test checking more emphasis is laid on internal check system and the auditor also gives the owner of the business suggestion as to how to remove the uh, deficiencies in the internal control system next is early completion of audit work now in test checking instead of analyzing each and every transaction only a few transactions are analyzed and as a result the audit work is completed uh, much faster hence it is beneficial to the auditor and also to and also the work of the client is not disturbed due to the audit for a very long period next is our disadvantage of uh, test checking first one is frauds and errors may remain undetected now in test checking only a certain part of the accounts are examined not each and every transactions are taken into account hence errors and uh, cleverly committed frauds may remain undetected since they may be contained in those transaction which have not been chosen chosen for examination second is carelessness by employees now of course the employees of the organization also uh, start feeling that since the complete work is not going to be checked why should we put in so much effort once uh, such thinking creeps into the mind of the employees it is uh, natural that they will become more careless next is unsatisfactory report now uh, after the examination the report submitted by the auditor is of uh, not much benefit to the organization since the opinion of the auditor is based on the examination of um, only a part of the accounts and it is hence it is said that uh, the report will be not satisfactory and the last one is increase in auditor's responsibility now even though through test checking the work of the auditor is reduced his responsibility is increased since he is also held responsible for all those transaction which have not been examined by him so this four are the disadvantage of test checking next going to what is routine checking now uh, there are certain records um, and books which are common to all types of business organization now the checking of such common records and books which is carried on by the auditor uh, as a matter of routine is known as routine checking in auditing now we also say that regular checking of all the daily transactions of the organization by the auditor is known as routine checking and it incorporates basically four uh, tasks first one is checking of recording primary books or journal uh, so first of all we have to check all the recording which we are making in the uh, journal accounts second is checking transfer of transactions from original books of accounts to the ledger account so first the recording in the journal is checked second one when we transfer the transaction from the journal to the ledger those transaction should also be checked then checking debit and credit side of various accounts here it is checked that whether the transactions which we have recorded those are recorded correctly as per the debit and credit rules of accounting or not and last one is checking transfer of balances of various accounts to other pages or accounts or statement so whenever we transfer the balance of one account to the other we have to check whether those transfer are done correctly or not whether the um, values which are recorded are recorded correctly or not now coming to advantages of uh, routine checking the first one is the books of original entry can be checked 
and the errors and flaws can be easily detected. So first one is that the recording which we have made in the journal, those can be checked properly. And if there is any errors and flaws in that, we can easily or the auditor can easily detect that errors and flaws. Second one is postings. Now, where, where do we do the posting? We do the posting from the journal to the ledger. So the postings are also checked in the routine checking. Third one is checking of fasting and posting done in routine checking helps in the checking of final accounts. Since we know that the final accounts are prepared as per the journal ledger which are prepared. Uh, so if we, if in the routine checking the journal and ledger are properly checked, it will help to check the final accounts also. Next is routine checking helps in the verification of arithmetical accuracy of the entries where we say that the values which are being recorded in the accounts, those can be checked while we do the uh, routine checking. Next is routine checking is a simple job which can be done easily by a person with an ordinary knowledge of accounts. So this routine checking uh, can be done by any of the person who has basic knowledge of accounts. Next is disadvantages of routine checking. So first one is routine checking is not always considered important in the audit of a business where self-balancing system is used. Now in self-balancing system, the accounts are self-balanced or we can say the accounts are automatically checked. So in the organization or in the business where self-balancing system is already in use, their routine checking is not important at all. Second is minor cases of frauds and errors can be detected by uh, routine checking. Now, uh, it, while we do the routine checking, only the minor or the small cases of errors and frauds can be detected. And the major frauds which have been made by the organization are not easily detected in this routine checking. Next is routine checking is practically a mechanical process and hence it causes monotony to those who are entrusted with this task. So this routine checking is the daily work of the employee. Every day the employee will come and do this work. So it becomes monotonous for him and he do not do the work efficiently. Last one, in routine checking, it is difficult to trace out compensating errors and errors of principle. So compensating errors and errors of principle uh, do not have any effect in the child balance. So in routine checking, it becomes very difficult to trace or to detect the compensating errors or the errors of principle. So in today's video, we came to know about audit program. We came to know about audit notebook. We also had knowledge about uh, routine checking as well as test checking. That's all for today. Thank you.